Hi, it's Rachel from Blue Raven Journey and Hippie Dippy Love Shop. Um, today this video is about just to talk about um, hurt people, hurt people. Um, this recently came up and you know why um, people respond in the way they do to some things and to the extent that they respond or um, I know we all have times in life that maybe just an argument with a significant other or a relationship and sometimes people say things um, and then later they'll say, I didn't mean that, I just said that to hurt you. So this, um, I was talking with someone this morning, this beautiful light, um, someone that I love dearly, um, and this came up, um, hurt people hurt people. And after that conversation, um, I was talking with Spirit, doing some meditation. And for me, so this is going to be my perspective. For me, we, like myself as someone that wants to help others um, to facilitate healing, I see it as like, for me to have this experience for myself is for me to learn and have exactly the experience so that I can learn how I get through it, what I do, how I feel, so that also I'm going to be able to help others do this as well. So what has came is Again, it's so simple. Hurt people hurt people. And sometimes they may have childhood traumas. They may have had adult traumas. It may be something that they've learned from the family that they grow up in. They may have learned um, that response, that behavior from a relationship that they were in. Whether it could be with friends, it could be with um, um, a significant partner type of relationship. You know, it could be something that they have learned. And um, so many of us, we want to heal and grow from that. And so if we can step back from that experience, to step back and take a bird's eye view at it, to look what it, what it is overall. See what the lesson is for you individually. Because what that person is doing, that's them. It's, it's a reflection of them. It's not a reflection of you. Now, if they're saying things that could be true, own that. Own. Own your part of it. That is you taking responsibility for you. Own your part of it. Do you owe people explanations? No, but if you need to. But when you own that, you don't have to belittle or you don't have to make that person look bad. You don't have to belittle them. You don't have to tear them down. Your reaction to what someone else is doing, your reaction is your own. That's your responsibility. How are you going to handle it? How have you handled it? How would you like to handle it? That's you. You don't have to have the same behavior of another person. You don't even have to have the same behavior that you did yesterday or last week or last year because we are always growing. We always have an opportunity to learn and grow and improve and increase our vibration and our love and who we are. So, I get that's the part of you and, and your response about yourself and and to talk about the person who maybe you feel is you know hurting you that's them and again what have they experienced in life they could have things that's unhealed traumas they may not even be aware of them and that's not an excuse for their behavior but that could be why they're responding the way that they are. They could have unhealed traumas, unhealed hurts. Someone's done that to them time and time again. 
and hopefully they'll do their shadow work. They'll do their self work and grow and change that response that they have and hurting other people. But we cannot control that. We can't make that happen. And, and so know that the response that they have, that's a reflection of who they are. What are they saying about you? Is it, say a person says, oh, this person, da, 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 da. And people are saying that's not true. That is a reflection of who they are. Maybe they're trying to put off onto someone else shadow work that they have to do. I, you know, there's many reasons people behave the way that they do. But no, that is them. That is their response and who they are. It's not who you are. Don't let someone else define you. You get to decide each and every day, each moment of the day, who you are. Who are you going to be? And if you're not happy with who you were yesterday, or you might have been happy with yesterday, but today you're like, I'm going to be, I'm going to do this different. It is beautiful. You get to change each and every moment. Every day is a new day. Also, each minute is a new day. So know that it's okay to grow. And if you feel like someone is um, reacting to you in a way that you're not satisfied with, it's okay too to let go of those relationships and move on. We always grow. Our vibration always changes. For me, I strive to increase my vibration every day. Um, I want to always do better. I don't want to hurt people in any way. And so if that's something that you're interested in, know that hurt people hurt people. And also you can look at your self actions. You know, we have to be responsible for ourself and our responses. That is the only thing that we can be responsible for. And so decide if you're happy with your responses, if you want to change them, um, be different tomorrow than you were today if you feel like that's a good option for you. Always grow. Strive to do more. Strive to be more um, because it's available to you. Um, you know, recently I would talk and I talk to spirit and be like, what would I, what guidance would I give someone going through something like this, you know? Um, and, and I talked with friends, you know, and don't let others take your peace. That is the lot that I step in. Be true to you. Don't let others, again, don't let them define you. Don't let them take your peace. Stay in your happiness and your joy and your harmony and just keep going and being you. Um, you know, we've read books and we are taught about don't take things personal. So don't. Again, the way that someone responds, it's them. It's not you. Don't take it personal. Um, it's, And I know that in that situation, it's hard to not feel like you're personally attacked or... You might want to respond and just scream out your truth and, and just, if you need to do that, own it, just own your responses, own who you are, but don't let them take your peace. Um, don't let, don't take it personal cause it's them. It's not you. Um, and so this whole thing was just inspired by talking about hurt people, hurt people, we're all human. We all have flaws. We're not perfect. We're just, we're all here for learning and for experiences that our souls want to learn about. And if at some point you can look at that big picture and say, what is the lesson here for me? That in itself is such a big step. What is the lesson in this for you? What can you learn from this? And what can you step forward and do with this information? Um, so that's huge. That's huge. Do it. 
step into that, step into your lesson, step into your soul purpose. Uh, accept the things that your soul wanted to learn about because your soul is just, they want to learn these things and grow from it. And we're here on earth going, oh, this hurts. This is awful. This breaks our heart or that's not true. It's all just an experience. So try to step into that light. Try to share that mindset. Um, and let me know um, how you feel about this. Let me know what your experience has been with it. How did you get through it? How are you going to get through it? What do you think? I mean, um, I want your feedback. Um, that's all I have for right now. Love and light. Love and light, you guys. I love you. Love you. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.